to the video tutorial for Tommy Emmanuel's Angelina. This song has been requested many occasion on my channel updates video. So this is it. Those of you who are observant might notice that I'm playing this song finger style rather than the way Tommy Emmanuel plays it with a plectrum. Uh, it's like a hybrid way. He uses his fingers and, and a plectrum at the same time. I use finger style because it's more comfortable for me. If you're more comfortable using the plectrum, by all means, use the plectrum. I will show you how Tommy Emmanuel wields his plectrum, as obviously I'll show you the way that I do it with my fingers. So stay with it. Don't jump to your conclusions that you won't be able to play it exactly like Tommy Emmanuel does, because I will show you how he does it. The main reason you come to watch a video tutorial anyway is so you get guided through the learning process. And, you know, so you pick up the notes and the positions of the hands and also you get the time and right. Okay, those of you who are bothered about the fact I'm not using a plectrum, you're quite welcome to go and find some other tutorial. But I can assure you you won't find as detailed a tutorial as I'm about to give. Okay, so enough of the intro speech. I'll get on with the tutorial. The capo for this song is on the second fret. Uh, we, we're using uh, drop D on the sixth string uh, tuning. So the fourth string is the same note as the sixth string. Okay, so tune your sixth string down for that. Okay, so intro. The first shape we're gonna make is a D shape, but without the first string fretted. So we've got the second fret on the third string and the third fret on the second string. Okay, the first three notes are strings three, two, one. We play it if with, with your fingers, uh, index, middle, Ring. Okay. If you're using the plectrum, obviously individual plectrum, plectrum, plectrum. Okay. The idea of the intro, uh, the way this, the the notes work, is that you should leave the notes ring and resonate as long as possible. Okay. So I'll briefly explain to you. The next part, it's six, four, three. And the second on the second fret. Okay, but we don't move our finger from the third fret until the very last moment because we allow the note to ring out from when we played it on the third fret. Okay, so that's a six, four, three, two. As we get to the two, we move down to the second fret on the second string. Note with our fingers, a sixth string with our thumb, and then index finger on the fourth, middle finger, third, ring finger, two. Okay, so we pretty much stay there for the rest of the intro now. Uh, index finger on the fourth, middle finger on the third, ring finger on the second, little finger on the first, and the thumb stays in the five and six, okay? So you've got a designated fingers for each string. Obviously the only time that's different is the very beginning with the first three notes. And obviously you can play it whichever way. Um, whichever way you like, whichever is most comfortable. This is just me making it super easy for you in case you need a bit more guidance. Okay, so we've got...
next shape, we move to the 4th fret on the 6th string, and we play 6, 4, 3, and we play the 2nd, um, just before we do, we lift off to the open 2nd string. Again, the reason we're leaving my finger on the 2nd so long is to allow the string to ring out before we play it on the open. Okay? So we have... Six, four, three, two. Okay, so from the beginning, next shape up to the fifth fret on the sixth string. Uh, this time we play six, four, three. Okay. And then we move to the A shape, second fret on the fifth. Sorry, 2nd fret on the 4th, 2nd fret on the 3rd, 3rd fret on the 2nd. And for this we play 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 in order. Okay, so from here. Okay, so that's pretty much it and what happens then is that you loop what you've just played but leaving out the first three notes. So from there, go back, If you're using your plectrum at this stage, you're just using your plectrum for every single note there. You're not using your fingers at any, any point. So plectrum, 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 all the way, okay? So, once we've played that through, I think it's the fourth time it plays through, when we get to the shape on the fifth fret on the sixth string, uh, and the second fret on the third, when we get to that shape, we play a strum, and then pause, and then into the verse. So how that sounds, Okay, but the whole of the intro sounds like this then. Thank you. 